Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. As you will have all seen recently, I unboxed an acoustic kit from Solo and I'm going to be building it. It's a parlor guitar, nice small acoustic. I'm really looking forward to it. I figured while I'm doing it though, I might as well do, well, what I usually do and, uh, and make a few upgrades. So Solo has sent me some upgrade parts and we're going to take a look at those today. I'm going to be upgrading some of the obvious stuff. There are a couple other parts in here as well um, that I'm going to use in some of my other builds. I, at least I think there are. I'm not entirely sure what's in here, but we're about to find out. But I'm going to be upgrading some of the obvious stuff that you know everybody would think to upgrade on an acoustic uh, a kit to make it play better. You'll see that. And then I've got a couple more interesting ones that I'm planning on doing. So let's see what Solo managed to put together for me out of uh, the stuff that I said I was hoping to add into their kit here. And we'll go from there. Let's take a look. All right, exciting times. Let's find out what we're gonna be dealing with. So they, they couldn't find everything that I was looking for, I don't think. Uh, a couple things were out of stock. Hopefully they're coming back in soon, but they've definitely got some. Oh, spoiler alert. So first of all, I've got a Fishman humbucking pickup here. Now this thing is actually designed to just go right into the sound hole and you run the cable out of the sound hole period. Just run it out of the sound hole, straighten your amp. That's how it's supposed to be set up. What I might do, if I can figure out how, is run this thing to a jack in the back of the guitar so that I can actually plug into it. And I may actually wire up a pot for it. I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking about it. If anybody's got any suggestions about how, how easy or difficult that would be to put an output cable right into a jack, wire that up, um, maybe through a volume pot. Let me know. I don't think it'll be too crazy difficult, but I don't know much about electronics. So this is kind of the basics for our electronic parts here. We've got this Fishman Neo D humbucking pickup and our pot. It's a Gibson Genuine Parts Pot, AK500, I think. Yep, and that is going to be awesome. All right, moving on. We are changing out our bridge for a full-on Solo Pro Martin-style ebony bridge. The one that comes with the kit is a stained wood. It looks nice, but hey, this is an actual ebony bridge, so um, that's, you know, what more do you want? It's beautiful. We're gonna throw some strap locks on it because I prefer to play guitar standing up most of the time, uh, and I think that having strap locks is gonna be a nice little upgrade for me, so that's gonna be part of the deal. We've got Fender black strap locks here. Um, Obviously all this stuff, you, you all know, came from Solo. They've got awesome awesome parts, both from Fender and again from Solo, Solo Pro. The Solo Pro stuff is great. So speaking of that, here we've got Solo Pro 3 and 3 black nickel locking tuners. I'm putting locking tuners on this guy. You all know I like my electric guitars. So I'm, I'm putting a lot of electric guitar type stuff onto the acoustic. The black nickel, these things are beautiful. These are my favorite. You've seen me use them before. Look at that, beautiful color. I love these things. Yeah, perfect. So that's gonna be the tuner setup. Gonna be very interesting, I think. Not something you typically see on an acoustic. And then we're using this Acoustalock <laughs> strap lock adapter. So this is gonna be the strap lock adapter that goes on the base of the guitar that we're gonna have a jack running right through. That's the whole point of this thing. Jack's going to run through there uh, so I can plug in from the back. Again, if I can figure out how to wire this guy up straight through that. That's the plan. I could potentially just run the jack right through it, but I doubt it. Eh, it might fit, but I don't want a cable hanging out the back of my guitar. And that's part of why I don't really want to mount this the normal way. It, it's more versatile if you mount it the normal way, but I want to be able to plug into it right into my amp. See, I've said all of that now, and who knows if I'm actually going to be able to make it work. Here's the jack that I'm planning on using, kind of a blacked out chrome, one of these straight mount ones. This is a solo flush mount. Okay, so that's, well, it's exactly what it says. Solo flush mount, solo makes these. Um, I have been meaning to try one, and I haven't gotten around to it yet, so I'm really excited to give this one a try. It's a nice little flush mount jack. I'm probably going to use these more often in my builds going forward, if I can. We'll see. That's part of the plan. But for this, for now, it's going straight onto this acoustic, hopefully. And uh, yeah, that's the plan for this particular one. 
And then obviously we're gonna upgrade our bridge. So we've got a tusk man-made ivory, tusk nut, or sorry, bridge. Uh, that's the saddles and then the nut to go with it as well. And that is all the upgrades I think for the acoustic. So we're gonna make it play better with these. We're gonna use those awesome locking tuners, the beautiful ebony bridge, and of course, try to wire it up with that Fisherman pickup. That is the plan. Really looking forward to working with that. Let's take a look at some of the other stuff we have here though. Oh, I missed one. Saddles, we're upgrading the saddles to Tusk saddles. Again, solo, carry all this stuff. I get all my upgrade parts from them pretty much. Yeah, increases rich harmonic content. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, we're gonna find out. Or maybe we won't find out. We'll just play with these. Should be good. All right, so last but not least, I say last but not least, but there are a bunch of these in here. You're about to see what they are if you can't already. Uh, I wanna use these on a bunch of my guitars going forward. I'm gonna stain them and stuff and play with them. But of course on the acoustic, I think that something like this is very appropriate. So I have two different kinds of, these are Solo Pro wood knobs. So yeah, Solo has wooden knobs now and it's their Solo Pro line, so it's the good stuff. And they got a couple different styles, of course. Um, well, these are two different colors too. Let me show you the two different styles. So the styles being kind of the, th this top hat style, the Fender style, if you will, and then the more classic, or sorry, the Strat style and then the Tele style type thing. So those are the two different ones that they've got the most of right now. And they've got these zebra wood versions here. And then they've got these darker ones. Right? I think these are supposed to be Bubinga maybe. Um, so those are obviously really nice. I don't know if you guys can see those very well. Why don't I just open these up? They're nicely polished and everything right now. They got basically rubber rings on them so they can because they're very slippery but these rubber rings make it really easy to get a nice grip so those are beautiful I'm going to work on uh, playing with those and then they have one other color here that is basically ebony so I'll just show you that there's the, the HBK black ones these are so smooth and finely polished that they, they almost feel like plastic these ones but uh, they are wood and this is the black one beautiful so I'm gonna include these, like I said, on a number of my builds. As you can see, I've got a bunch of them in here. Those are going straight into my hardware drawer. And, uh, and yeah, I'm gonna have lots of fun with that. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you guys are looking forward to the acoustic build as much as I am and to the upgrades. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And check out the Solo Music Gear link in the description. If you pick anything up through there, that's an affiliate link. It really helps me out. So if you're interested in building along with me on this one or or really getting any upgrade parts at all, well, you can help me out if you want. Thanks again. Have a good one. Remember to subscribe so you can see the rest of the build. And by the rest, I mean the whole build. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Thanks for watching.